Hey guys, we're back with the final on our testers. Uh, Italieri, Fujimi, uh, 148 scale, F15C, uh, limited edition, 80th anniversary, testers 80th, 80th anniversary, blah, 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 blah. Um, from what research I could find, say it was originally uh, a Fujimi kit. I uh, guess uh, Italieri ended up with the tooling. Uh, and they sold it under their name, and then they uh, sold sold package kits to uh, testers who reboxed it for, under their own label. Um, we used a little different decals and such on this one, and we added some stuff. Uh, that was not in the kit uh, starting with we added a pilot which is a Hasegawa pilot um, we'll zoom in on him in a second uh, I had a needed added an ACM pod uh, which came was a spare from my A10 build over the summer I don't even know where the pylon came from I think it may have come from uh, a Harrier kit that I did years ago uh, that I didn't use one of the one of the weapons and I saw so three two one so I uh, had that in the parts box to use uh, we use say we used aftermarket decals uh, this is the first of two um, Missouri Air National Guard F-15Cs I'm going to do. This one is the uh, special commemorative ship for the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll try and zoom in on him a little bit. You see there's the Cardinal logo there. Uh, we've got The uh, call sign there, the name with the card with the red bird on it, and then, uh, we zoom out. So there's the St. Louis Cardinals logo there on the uh, on the inboard vertical stabilizers, and I'll have to shift this over so we can see it better. Um, we have the St. Louis Cardinals birds on a bat on top of the outer side of the vertical stabilizers along with the SL for St. Louis base uh, markings let's see if we can move this uh, in here to uh, get a little better look at this guy So the kit didn't come with a pilot, but I took one out of the uh, Hasegawa um, ground personnel set, and we had to do a little work on him because his uh, his mask and hose are basically one with his chest, so we had to drill out and reshape his uh, oxygen hose on it. I think you can just pick up, yeah, it's picking up better there. I use the opalescent film on the on the heads up display. I use it on all all my modern jets that have that HUD display because it uh, gives you that iridescent color that that they they have for that display that coated glass for that. Um, let's see. Let me reposition it and we'll be right back. Okay, we got her upside down here so we can see it better. Uh, what's going on, on the bottom side. We've got our four Sidewinder missiles, our four Sparrows. <clears throat> Actually, this one would have, we would have carried 
MRAMs at this time instead of the uh, Sparrows, but we had Sparrows in the kit, so we used the Sparrows and we got our external fuel tank. We used uh, AK Extreme Metals to do to do our engines. That's our titanium section here, and then the engine <coughs> engine burner cans. There, it's a uh, last video we. We showed the painting of it, but you can see now, after we put the wash on and the flat coat, how it, it's it's still coming off a little strong in the in the video, but it's a lot more subtle in person than the video is picking up that blue and just really blowing it out. Um, I apologize for the fan noise; it's cold and the furnace just kicked on. Um, our base is similar to the base we did on the other Eagle. I used uh, a half of a playing card deck holder from Hobby Lobby. Here's here's the other half right here. I, and it's just a little little box with divider in it. The frame is it's a real nice for doing uh, simple bases on and. Uh, Those are like three dollars, so you end up getting two for two for three dollars. Uh, it's a quarter-inch acrylic rod that we epoxied in, and then I put some uh, peel and stick felt on the bottom so it will not slide on the shelf. And I know I won't be able to do this on camera, but I'll I'll stick it back on here real quick. I cut holes in the uh, center of the afterburners for these rods to go into and then I heated them and twisted them to get them for the uh, for the angle that I was wanted wanted for the uh, for the eagle I kind of like them in that climbing kind of climbing turn position I should have got the turntable out but that's okay I have to won't be able to see it half of it anyway. So we can either display it this way, kind of showing the showing its underbelly a little more, or I usually will display it. Most of them I display where you're show, seeing the, what they call in the ray racing. They call the pretty side. So that's our our F15 bill. I will say thanks to. Bill Hurd at Panzer Man Bunker, he sent me this kit. We did some kits, kit swapping of surplus kits. And uh, he got, I sent him some armor, and he, I, he sent this kit to me. Um, so I enjoyed building it. It turned out really well. It looks, looks the part. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pick it apart. For accuracy's sake, it's, it's what I like. Um... Once it goes up on my shelf, you know, that's that's what you're going to see. So anyway, guys, I'll do a bunch of pictures at the end. Uh, kind of showing some more of the detail, up close detail I did, like on the pilot and the, and the engines and uh, close up of the some of the markings. And uh, we will see you on the next video, which I don't know what that's going to be. I'm doing an off-grid build right now or for uh, that, the, the big bearded guy to deliver, so we can't really talk about that one in case somebody happens to watch the video. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to be building next, but when, when I know, you'll know. So with that, I'm going to say good morning, good evening, good night, depending on where you are when you watch my video, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.